Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning, September 4th, 2022. Hope all is well. Happy Labor Day weekend. Uh, I'm going to a call right now. It says no airflow, no AC, no airflow. So we'll see what it is when I get there. It could be frozen system, condensers not running, no refrigerant, low on refrigerant capacitor, whatever. It could be no fan inside. We'll see what it is. But again, stay well. Let's see what this is. What's going on? Huh? What's going on? I got it. Away. What's it going takes on? Off on me, you know? How you doing? Good, good. What's it, going on? It will work. I know. <laughs> What's the issue? It runs, but nothing happened. <laughs> Did you, you know, check the outside runs. unit? Huh? Did you check the outside unit? Yes. Okay. So is that running too? It's not running now because I got the... No, no. But when it was... That when runs. So both inside and out are running? No, upstairs. I'm, I'm upstairs. Can I go upstairs, please? Sure, you know where it is? No. Let me, let me get him in the cage. No, I don't need the cage. Don't worry about the dog. No, no, maybe he gets crazy. Come on, get in here. Get in the cage. Get in the cage. Get in the Let me go upstairs and check the uh, air handler, okay? Okay. Have you changed the filter? I don't know what it is. When's the, well, we haven't been here in like two years, right? No, I don't know. Okay. It's always promising. Good old walk up attic. Well, you have an air handler. Bet you this filter's nice and plugged. To start. Said he didn't do anything. Well, you got to do something. I know what's wrong. The module in here, the fans were going bad. I could hear it going on and off. Love this country. Good old fan motor. These things are notorious for going bad. I just changed one the other day. Yeah, see, it starts to freeze up too. We just turned this on. So this will start to ice up. If I let it run. And there's your fan motor. Yeah. All right, so we got to order a new fan motor. There's no board in here. Just straight to a transformer. Two thousand fifteen. Yeah, that's about right. They're but they're good for about seven years. These motors, literally. I just changed one the other day which was from 2007, and the guy has had it changed twice. So, again, seven years, that's just crazy. Let's see, it's starting to ice up already, see that? So, when the fan's not running, as most techs know, you're not gonna have airflow, you're gonna get a frozen coil. This thing's click, 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 that's what they do. Good, that's the one thing Carrier needs to uh, fix on their end, is these motors to go quick. Let's go. We're gonna turn it off downstairs. I don't want to kill his nest thermostat. 
I'm killing the power up here. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Kind of a boring call, but uh get it on video anyway. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If I get any other calls today, I will just add it to this video. If not, I'll be posting this later tonight. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Uh, so I just got home. The second I pull in my driveway, I get another call. So that's fun. Anyway, I'm going to Westchester County for a no AC call. That's all it says on my, th on my ticket. It says no AC. So we'll see what it is. I guess the lady went on vacation and came home and her AC is not working. That's cool. We'll see what it is when we get there. It rained here like this whole summer, guys. Look at this. Right, this is like everywhere. It's crazy. What's going on? Well, I'll show you. My name is Paul. How are you? Hi, Paul. I'm Pat. Nice to meet you. Would you come back from vacation, it said? I did. And then it just wasn't working? Well, my son came and he said, Mom, the thing is, it's just not working. When, when he checked on the house or something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. so, all right. How, let's check the inside first if we can. Oh, okay. Well, I want to just make sure the, there's airflow and everything okay. there. Me, so. Where do you go away? I have a home down in North Carolina. Nice, good for okay. you. Okay, and uh, it is nice. Yeah, <laughs> I, I always hear it's beautiful down there. It, it is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. That's and like the new Florida as far as flight goes. Well, you know, it's uh, I've been going down there for over 50 years. Nice. And uh, uh, for some reason or another, when I was down there in, in, um, in South Carolina at the, the beach, I said to my son, you know, Let's go see if I can find a condo. Sweet. And uh, so we did. And I saw this house. I said, <laughs> Let's go see it. Okay. Put the real estate lady. I want it. I want it. Oh. Good oh. for you. Oh. It's really beautiful, cool. right? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah. And, I, and this is a brand new house. I was like three years old, but like nobody really lived in it. And I said, sell me a house. Move into this house. It's a four-bedroom home. Good. Okay. I said, take your money and invest it. And you're you living just absolutely save your money exactly, and and why not? Yeah. And you keep each other company. Yeah. Well, I don't believe it then. I mean, it's my home. Yeah. I have my own side of the house. Understood. Yeah. So I go down anytime I want to. It's <laughs> beautiful. But, but what they've done to the, the, the God bless them. Yeah. God okay. bless. God. They pay the taxes and the water bill. Yep. And the rest is done. If you yeah. had to pay rent, you wouldn't even pay that. Absolutely. You wouldn't even pay that kind yeah. of rent, you know? So, good, end of good, story. Good for you. But then they come home to Putnam County. Yeah, it's the dream, right? That's what they say. Well, let me tell you, years ago when I moved up here, you didn't have the crap that you had today. No, now it's all okay, taxes and it's crazy. Oh, yes, you're not looking for me. She says, who is that guy out there with my mother? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm Paul. How are you? How are you doing? All right. Good. Okay. Where's your, um, your, where's the indoor air handler? I don't know what you call this. Where did it go? Okay. And then we're just going to bring this down cooler. 69 and fan is on. Okay. So let me go outside and check the okay. condenser. Uh, want something to drink? No, thank you. I'm okay. Check the airflow inside. And we're coming out to the sea pump or AC. I don't know what it is. Uh oh. Let's see.
No compressor. Equalized. Looking for a 70. And it's going to be good. 68.6. Okay, so throwing a hard start kit on here and then I pulled the red power right here to reset the board and now I'm just waiting for five minute delay because it's carrier infinity and let's see that the compressor doesn't kick on but um, I'll mount this when I am ready to yeah, I'm going to go grab something while I'm waiting for the delay. It's filthy too as I'm looking at it. Might have went off on high pressure. I don't know why that was. This side's clean. Cleaner. It's not clean. It's pretty filthy. All right, let's see what it does if it starts up. Clean these leaves out. High pressure switch. Three and then one. So let me take the high pressure switch out of the circuit and see if that doesn't start the system. And we probably have a faulty switch. All right, so we're probably going off on high pressure. This coil is fucking plugged, excuse my French, but we're good. So I bypassed it. We're going to have to replace it. Um, but, uh, I'm gonna monitor this thing for a little while. I gotta clean this coil too, this is crazy. I don't like those pressures. All right guys, I cleaned the coil. My pressures are pretty good now. Uh, I'm gonna check superheat and subcool. And then button this guy up and we'll be out of here. But I have to order a high pressure switch. Um, and then uh, we'll return to put it in. But for now it's bypassed right here. A lot better than Seltzer? No, I'm okay, dear. Thank you. I'm trying to lose weight. I don't think dying of thirst is the way to do it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding about the weight, but um, I am trying to lose it. But uh, I'll have one if it's up to you. <laughs> I guess I need to lose weight. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like two hunch. Like five seven and two hunch. That's it's kind of heavy. Five eight maybe, maybe on a good day. Five eight two hundred Italian. Like five, not like Danny DeVito though. He's like five four and fucking three fifty. I'm more like Joe Pesci size, I'd say. What are you doing, Spider? Hey, Spider, get over here and get me a cutty and get me a cutty shark. Water with bubbles in it. It has no sugar. Why? Well, I, I need to lose weight, huh? Hey, listen. To each his own. <laughs> <laughs> so, here it is. See? 
keto yes. calories. I was kidding about like I I eat like a pig. I was just kidding about. I should lose weight, but I'm not trying to lose weight. Okay, just be careful. I will. Okay. They're coming from a nurse too. And as you get older. I know. Okay. I'm you 43 already. Yeah. <laughs> Getting well, up there too. You're a young guy, but you know. You know what? I have to get my son goes to the gym like nine days a week. I have oh, to go with he? him. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah, he's in. He's such an athlete. But um, yeah, I'm gonna hit the gym maybe even if I go like twice a week. To do some cardio, maybe the Y go swimming. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I used to be a swimmer as, as a kid, so I love to swim. Yeah, yeah. I used to have a huge, huge. Right here. Oh, you can actually start to see where the round was. Okay. Yeah, then move out. No, and it's like owning a boat. It's the maintenance is expensive on them. Yeah, yeah, and I and I sold. I had a forty foot motorhome. That's expensive okay. too. That, yeah. So just the maintenance on a motorhome, a boat, diesel, diesel, yeah. Okay, and a big baby. Yep. And uh, when my husband passed away, I said, you know, what what is the sense of having this thing? Uh, so I'm going on a diet as of yesterday. It's clean. No. We're going to come back and do a maintenance for her. I cleaned the whole side. Carrier 2008. Now I just want to go inside, check the temp split, and check the thermostat. On these Infinities, there's probably an error code on the thermostat because I, I killed power. So I just got to reset that. Fan auto. 74. And you keep this on a permanent hold, 74? And let, that's what I mean. Yep. Hi. Hello. How are you? It's going to get cooler now. And like, give it like two hours. You'll be okay. It's working. Okay. But feel better. Thank you. Nice to meet right, you. Thank you so much for watching that call. Um, so we're coming back. We have to braze in that pressure switch. Um, so we'll have to recover. We'll have to... Um, Braze a new, you know, remove, replace, then pull a vacuum, do all the nine, and then uh, recharge the system, and then check everything. Temp split's good, thermostat was good. Um, it came down one degree since I was just left. Um, so it's cooling, it's going in the right direction. Pressures were normalized. Um, and that's that. I, I don't know if it was the coil that set that made the switch fail, or maybe the switch just failed, but coil's clean, the system's running right, temperatures are good, pressures are good, and the temp drop is good, temp split is good. Um, again, thank you for watching, guys. Enjoy your holiday. Tomorrow's, you know, just another day, but it is a day off. So, enjoy. Thanks again. Take care.